Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Salty Tales. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the crunchiest, the easiest, the tenderness, the deliciousness, the whatever pork belly ever. And it's easy, easy, easy. And yes, anybody can do it. And if after this you're still making shitty pork bellies out there, I don't really know what else to do with you. And what do we need to make this delicious recipe? A nice pork belly. My recommendation is to try and get the meatiest one you can find because that meat will be tender and moist and you don't want to miss that. Also, try to get the one that is as even as possible. That way you don't have to be worried about cooking one side more than the other. This is like chicken breast. If you want it all to cook evenly, you need to pound them to the same thickness. Same concept. I'm telling you, man, this thing is so good that I'm making two of them. Ah! And the first thing we will do with this beautiful pork belly is to blanch it for 10 minutes. First, into boiling water for five minutes and then into cold water. You guess it, for five minutes. This will make the skin soft and ready for the next step. And what step will be that, you might ask? Well, now is when we get to have fun and poke a bunch of holes into the skin. But first, clean the skin as much as possible. You don't want things sitting on the skin to get into the meat inside. And right after, with a mechanical tenderizer, poke the skin of the entire pork belly. But don't go all too deep with it. We are just trying to get about a quarter inch of penetration. That will be enough. Poking the skin will make it crispier at the end. So the more you poke, the crispier it gets. Now is when we use the knife to score the meat side. I like to make it into squares because it looks really nice at the end, but don't swear. Just be careful not to cut the skin for obvious reasons. Next step, and I know I promise you it will be simple. We are almost there. Next step, the seasoning. Here you can use any rub you like. Me, I love my ninja rub. As I already know, it is delicious for this recipe. And here are the easy ninja rubs ingredients list. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One teaspoon of chili powder. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. One teaspoon of crushed red pepper. One teaspoon of ground pepper. And one teaspoon of salt. Mix it well and rub it all over the meat, gracefully, massaging and feeling the tenderness as you go. Try to get it deep inside the crevices we just created, as that is what will bring the flavors up. Woohoo! Now, get aluminum foil and flipping the pork belly skin up, cover the entire bottom with it, leaving only the skin outside. This will keep the meat from drying, as we want to keep all those juices inside. Pat the skin dry and add just a pinch of salt to it, that will help us get this socket as dry as possible because this baby is going in the fridge till tomorrow. The fridge will make the skin really dry and the foil will keep the meat juicy and tender inside. 24 hours is the recommended time for this recipe, but you can shorten the time down up to six hours if you are really looking for that crunchiness and flavor. Well, it is the next day and I'm still with the same clothes, but we have everything ready. Oh. <laughs> Look at that baby. It smells like the wrap. It smells delicious. But now it's time to cook it. Let's go. Take the aluminum foil out and pat dry the skin again. At this point, I will brush some lemon juice on the skin just for that acidic, naughty flavor. And preheat the oven on roast at 400 degrees. Set the pork belly in and let it be. Check the cook every 10 minutes until you see the skin puffing up and getting that beautiful golden brown color. This will take about 30 minutes. Right there, turn the oven temperature to 450 degrees and roast for another seven minutes. After that, just take it out as and always let it rest at room temperature. Rest it for 20 minutes or as long as you can endure the torture of waiting while smelling this gorgeous creation. And what else can we do in these 20 minutes? Boil cassava, of course. Cassava or yuca is available in every supermarket in Florida, but if you can't find it, I'm sure any Latin supermarket around you will have it. Set the pot of water to boil, and as soon as you see it bubbling, drop your cassava in. Give it about five minutes until you see them opening like this. 
At this point, add a few dashes of salt and you are ready. But if you make yuca, you also need to make sofrito to serve it with. To a hot pan, add oil and half an onion. Turn the fire to medium and add three garlic cloves. Let them cook for a bit until the garlic turns golden brown and serve right on top of the yuca. And it's time to check the pork belly again. Oh my gosh, listen to that. Ah, uh, Miss Ninja, I got Music your favorite to here. My ears. Woo, brother. <laughs> Guys, this is so simple. So easy to make and so freaking delicious that you guys have to make it at home, man. It doesn't take any time. Yes, it, it is delicious and you guys are going to love it. I'm Miss Ninja. I have Ooh. some yuca there for you. Yuca? Yuca? You guys know what yuca is all about? Oh, man. Yuca is about good stuff. Uh, yes, it is. Let's try, let's try the yuca first. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Georgie looks yummy. Oh, Georgie's <laughs> ready. Mm. Oh, he's hungry. The yuca is awesome. Miss Ninja, yeah. let's try the... As well. The pork belly. Mm. And you tell me, how do you like it? Mm. I love it already. Mm. I love chicharrón. Mm. Oh my God. It's sweet, it's tender, it's crunchy. Let's see. Mm, wow. I put the ninja rub on it. Mm, yum, yum. And it's freaking delicious, brother. And sisters and doggies. And doggies too. <laughs> He said delicious, I guess. Oh, yes, Guys, yes. this is so easy to make, so delicious, so, so good, man. I mean, if you have a little oh, bit of so poor so belly out there, that is cheap. You can buy a shit 10 bucks for a poor belly like this, and you can make it at home and taste it, and it's delicious. And if you don't know where to find yuca, you can go to any Latin supermarket, market, whatever. Mm -hmm. They will have it there for sure, because this is something we kind of eat in every lunch in, in Latin America. <laughs> Mr. Joey here is telling me to hurry up. He's yes. really hungry. And guys, all I have to do now is to ask you a question. What? Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with the like. Lots of, lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and family. Yes, and I really so. hope that you learn and like and will do this thing because it's delicious. Let me know down there in the comments what you think about it. What would you do different? Whatever, man. Just let me know down there in the comments. This is something we do very often in this family and we all love it so yeah. that's all for today but remember that i love you mm, love you too thanks for watching and see you on the next one you don't love him uh, mr joey you love him you love him i love you guys <laughs> bye